Radical. Welcome to part two of Radical Ratifier Comic Response for October 10th to October 16, 2022. Short comments, quick replies. Before we get into this, I will say happy Halloween to everyone. I want to know, what are you dressed up as right now? Did you go trick-or-treating? If you went trick-or-treating and you're above the age of 10, then you are a filthy e-beggar. Filthy e-beggar. You know what I give to Lillens? You know what I have given to kids tonight when they came to my door to trick-or-treat? Well, I've been handing out copies of NBA 2K13. Not even in the case. They're loose. They're in those, uh, you know, yellow GameStop with the pre-owned sticker on there. I got a lot of them. So that's what I'm handing out. You know, I ain't buying no candy for no kids. You know, hell with that. You know, it's a waste of money because I really don't eat candy. Right. But yeah, that's what I'm handing out. They don't seem too happy. And then I tell the kids, hey, come on down to the flea market and I can sell you the game system. And then you can play that copy of NBA K 2K13. Then they just walk off and they you know, tell me to kick rocks or whatever, you know. What do you think I was going to do like a metal Jesus going door? Oh, got somebody at the door. Somebody's ringing the doorbell. Got to go get my pail of NBA 2K13 disc ready. Trick or treat. Uh, okay, you're a big kid, aren't you? Yes, yes, I'm a growing boy. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, here's the deal. I ain't got no candy. Ah, you ain't got any Butterfingers? No Butterfingers. No Snickers? No Snickers. Not even any Fifth Avenue? What kind of fucking freak are you? Who the hell eats Fifth Avenue? Yeah. Okay. And, and I know you're not a kid. That's why I'm cursing at you, because I know you're not a kid. Most kids aren't six damn feet tall. I'm on stilts. Okay, I am 10 years old. And I'm on stilts, and don't curse at me because I'll tell my mommy and daddy. Okay, let's play along. You're 10 years old, and you want candy, but I ain't got no candy. You know what I got for you? I got NBA 2K13 on 360. Uh-huh. This is, this is all you have? Yeah, that's all I got. This isn't even that rare. They made a lot of these. Hmm. You got NCAA Football 14? No, I don't have that one. Hmm. Hmm. You, uh, you have any N64 sports games? No, I don't have any N64 sports games. Hmm, that's a shame. Hmm. You sure you out of candy? Yes, I'm out of candy, motherfucker. I think the last thing you need to be eating is candy. So, uh, I mean, you can take this disc. Okay, are you, you know, you can stick it up your ass for all I care. But this is all you're getting. <sighs> hmm. I guess I'll take it. Yeah, you're going to take it. Okay. I notice uh, you have a, a, a system you're playing in there. What is that? It's an Xbox One. Okay. Do you have any Xbox One games? Uh, yeah, I got Xbox One games. Okay. Um, it is trick-or-treating, and I am a little kid, and I don't have this system. Okay. So I notice you have some Xbox One games in there. Are you going to play them all? Yeah, I'm going to play them all. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I guess that'll do. Well, I have to do. That's what you're getting. That's the game I've given out to every little boy and girl tonight, okay? Um, it's pretty late. Do you think you're going to have any more trick-or-treaters? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. So, um, what are you going to do with the rest of those copies of uh, NBA 2K13? I don't know. Probably try to sell them or something. Mm-hmm. Well, it would make me really happy if I could take those discs and give them to all my little friends. Uh-huh. Yeah, your little friends. Tell you what, it's your lucky night. I'm uh, turning the porch light off, and I'm going to give you all these uh, remaining ones. Seven discs. Okay, sir, mister, that's a that's a good deal. I mean, you know, I, I, like, uh, I like free stuff. <laughs> I love free stuff. Just kind of sucks you don't have anything rare for me and everything. Okay, so I put them all in your bag. Are we done here? Hmm. Tell you what, 
Um, how about I give you these games back and um, I see a copy of Red Dead Redemption in there in your living room. I see uh, I see Portal is pretty good. Listen, you're trying to trade me back what I gave you for some better games. Fuck you, little kid. Wait a second. You're Metal Jesus. Oh, shit. OK, <laughs> the jig is up. Drunken Master Paul, let's go. I don't know. Who does he hang out with? Who's he, who's he hang out with nowadays? I don't know. I don't keep up with these motherfuckers. I don't, you know? Who Who's your other little friend there? You know, dressed up like, uh, dressed up like Fat Albert. <laughs> you got a bed frame for me? <laughs> okay, we're going to move on to, to this Radical Rapid Fire. Murray and JOA, love me some Chippewa boots. Okay, do you really love Chippewa boots? Are you just saying that? Are you just saying that? Have you ever owned Chippewa boots? Have you ever slid your feet into Chippewa boots? Okay, in a minute, I'm going to actually take my bare feet and I'm going to slide them into the nice, soft, cushiony Chippewa boots. Yeah, maybe listen to some, you know, light rock or something, you know. Sounds, sounds nice. I'm just going to relax tonight. I mean, they're size 14. I don't fit into size 14s, but still, you know. <laughs> so so let me know. Have you ever owned Chippewa boots? If so, uh, which ones? Chris Siano, who her bubbers are out because her husband, Ryder, knows how to get subs. Uh, so you're saying that Lady Decade has a rider. Okay, she has a, uh, um, what do they call that? A fluffer? No, way, I'm thinking about something else. That's, that's completely different. Um, so let's see. Um, is it fair to say the Top Hat Gaming Man is kind of a pimp daddy, possibly? He knows what sells, and that's what sells about her. You know, I don't think there's anything particularly unique or interesting about her. So here's the test. Here is the challenge, right? And I might be called a misogynist or all kind of crazy things right now for this. Here's a challenge. How about, I think I made this challenge before. How about maybe for a month, we actually just track that channel in the views and we have her actually cover everything up for like a month. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. You know, a month or two. And we'll see what happens with the views. Just do it on the thumbnails. Just do it on the thumbnails. Because once they're out... That's what happens, right? Some men are just simps. I call them men loosely, but some males are just simps, and they will hit that subscribe if they he. Excuse me. They will hit that. <laughs> just burp. I, they will hit that subscribe if they see the bubbers. It's all it takes. It's all it takes with some guys. Art Bell, Rick, let's let's get your view on this. And the free agent lifestyle choice men make a lot in 2022. Men who never marry and never live with women that go solo. I've heard different things from a lot of you in different situations. Some of you say it's very wonderful to find somebody to live with. And I get it. That's basically what most all people do. You know, they find someone to marry and then they have kids and whatnot. It's what most people do. I would lean more towards going solo art. Most times I don't even have like a steady girlfriend. Um, there's a lot of different positives and negatives there. One big negative is, hey, I might want to make a little mini me one day. And it's hard to do that unless you have like a solid foundation to build upon. But if you're not really looking to do that, I don't get why so many men actually basically get married and want to live with somebody if you're not trying to make the little ones. Like I don't understand it. But maybe one day I might grow to understand it. But right now, I go solo. I, I go Han, Han, Han Solo. I go solo. A free agent lifestyle, is that what you call it? It's not that bad of a lifestyle. You know, like a like a Bond, James Bond. Do you ever see James Bond settling down? I guess that's the male fantasy, though. You know, I'll give her a slap on the tush if she needs a slap. That's not exactly what it said, but still. Rest in peace, Sean Connery. Rune Mamba. Those boots were made for walking and Radical Rick was made for talking. That is true. I was made for talking, made for doing impressions, made for uh, you know, making jokes. I mean, there's a lot of things that do very well in life. 
And I think what we need to do, Room Mamba, is focus on the things that we do very well. There's so many times people, like, they go outside of, like, their lane, their comfort zone of what they're great at. Like, I would be probably a shit carpenter. I'd be a terrible brain surgeon. You know, I, I probably wouldn't be a good farmer. You know, I mean... Yeah, like there's so many things I would be terrible at, but when it comes to talking, yeah, hell yeah, I got it when it comes to talking. When it comes for walking, um, I don't know, what's the longest I've ever walked? I tell you, if I was walking, I would walk in genuine branded Chippewa boots. I'd probably be a good like ad pitch person also, you know. Yeah, to Drusus. Rick Tipster has doubled down on his top hat and lady decade stance, calling Martin a cringe copyright troll and telling anyone who disagrees with him to cope laugh out loud okay who in the sam fucking hell is tipster to call anyone else anyone else in the world cringe that's one of the most cringes motherfuckers i've ever seen in my life you know like, I, like he's got so many issues to deal with number one how about Maybe laying off. I should have done tipster for the whole skit with uh, Trick or Treat. Maybe laying off the candy, possibly, you know. Tipster is probably going to be, in 10, 15 years, like that guy using the mark card at Walmart. He's going to be that guy. Maybe he's that guy already. So when it comes to cringe, yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's basically just simping for Lady Decade. I'm not sure. Maybe she has some pictures of him i don't know maybe he sent her like some pictures of him and maybe she has them and she's like blackmailing i don't know but no martin is in the right martin is in the right so i don't understand uh i just don't get this i don't understand why you made me go to tipster's channel and look around for the upload i've i felt dirty going there you know like it's the worst drama filled cesspit you could imagine on YouTube. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's terrible, terrible, right? And to those people that actually, you know, you know, to Drusus, people have actually equated me to tipster. You know, that's the kind, I don't get mad that often, but I would, I would want to slap the piss out of somebody that equated me to fucking tipster. Number one, I can see my Willy Wonka. Slimer. Die a YouTube hero or live long enough to become a meme. And when it comes to the memes, let me let me do this to kind of burn up some some of this time right here. Okay, James Rolf meme. What comes up? Ah, so you're an AGA uh, going. Um, where's the time one? Okay, now we're going to do time. Don't have the time, and Aries holding a clock, and then it's no time in the font of like Rex Viper. Oh, this is a cool one. Has no time, James Bond 007. This will work if you can see what I'm seeing here. I mean, you can do this too. Just Google James Rolf meme time. <laughs> That's a pretty funny one. Okay, so there's a lot of memes on him. When it comes to YouTube hero, that's something I don't have I don't have the time to really go into what would equate a YouTube hero or villain, you know? Villains, of course, like well, e-beggars, you know, I mean terrible e-beggars. Uh, I've talked about a couple, you know, in this one right now. You know, Top Hat and um you know, basically people people trying to scam people out of money and lie to people, the villains. But James Rolfe, most people would equate him to being a hero, but I would say I don't know, like, just like a guy that doesn't have time, you know. And I equate to James Rolfe, you know why? Because, hell, Radical Rapid Fire, I, I don't have time to finish this, 